uh, I'd like to introduce Dr. Khalil Abdel Khalil. Uh, Dr. Khalil is a pediatric specialist. You all have probably heard about him before. He um, is a visionary from a very old time. Uh, he has started Tobibi, which is uh, becoming a very interesting company in, in these times. Um, and he has also been a spark of inspiration for this webinar. So uh, without further ado, I'd love to introduce Dr. Khalil Abdel Khalil, and I'll see you guys at the end of the webinar. Have fun. Thank you, Omar, and uh, thank you, Health 2.0 team. And uh, it's really great to be with you tonight. Uh, speaking of co-creation, if you allow me to share my slide, that would be the first step for co-creation. Uh, <laughs> and here we are. Nice. Uh, I, I love actually to be with you today and to be with uh, friends, with, uh, with amazing people doing amazing things all over the place. Uh, and just with one initiative or with one vision uh, that they want to help as much people as they can. Uh, today we will be talking about resetting the healthcare system. Where do we go from here? Is it a great reset like Omar mentioned? And today we will focus for, on the outpatient uh, care, having two of the leaders uh, from Dewi Clinics and from Exa One Health. And, uh, that would be a very good, interesting talk. What, how did the COVID change their practice? Are they taking anything with them to the future? Uh, how do we collaborate? How do we partnership? Things like that. So all of us have a BC, DC, and AC, I guess. So before Corona, we used to be so happy with the uh, waiting rooms. <laughs> Uh, DC, we are fascinated with the PPEs and uh, with social distancing. Married to a psychologist, I'm not allowed to say social distancing. I'm allowed only to say physical distancing because we can be socially connected even more. And AC, after Corona, are we going to be doing masks or are we going to be doing something more interesting and something more, more hype than that? I hope that. So the resetting patterns, there are three resetting patterns or four actually. So there is a V-shape, so it couldn't have been better for someone like uh, Netflix. It went down, then up again, and up majorly, and everyone is using it. And then we have a U-shape where it goes down, stays down, and then goes up. Or is it the dreaded L-shape? And what is amazing is actually it can be none of them, and it can be actually the W-shape which goes up and down and up and down. So four shapes and beware because we're gonna, this will be the poll at the end. Whether will it be a U shape? Are we gonna go down, stay down a little bit? Are we gonna go down, bounce up? Are we gonna go down and up, up and down and see how things are gonna move? Uh, a black swan event is something that changes everything. And some of us are familiar with that uh, term. And, but what what I would like to, to talk about actually is the silver lining, the opportunity in a crisis. Do we see the opportunity in the, in the crisis? Do we benefit from this opportunity? There is a silver lining even when a storm is coming. And this is where we should be focused in. And in healthcare, I think that uh, we have been blessed by this to be tested, to take us to our limits, to get us out of our comfort zones. The challenges we are facing in terms of the fragmentation of healthcare ecosystem really showed up now. And I think there is no better time than to stand together. We are definitely in the same storm, maybe not in the same boat, but definitely in one same storm. And the fragmentation has a lot of beauty in it. You can see the beauty in this drawing, but it is fragmented. What if we could smoothen the lines and make it? a much more uh, collaborative ecosystem. And from last uh, webinar, if you attended with Riyadh, uh, and he mentioned you are as weak as the weakest part of your ecosystem. Trying to achieve anything, you need an ecosystem that supports that. We need to support each other, stand uh, with each other, and innovate together. And as I said, we are all not in the same boat yet. We are in the same storm. So partnerships, collaboration, and really working together is the key. 
uh, match made in healthcare, uh, as I would like to, to call it. Uh, I'm so happy to be with Mayros Doz, the COO of Dewi Clinics, and Shokri Asmara, the CCO of AXA One Health. And for your information, AXA One Health is a provider. So AXA as an investment body and as an insurer invested in a service provider called AXA One Health. And Shokri Aspara is the CCO of this entity. And to me, they're very dear friends. And I'm going to start uh, soon asking them questions to understand how the COVID helped or didn't help and how are they coping with that. I need to remind you quickly, is it an L going down and staying down? Is it a U going down, staying down for a bit and going up? A V going down, rebounding up quickly, hopefully, or uh, a W going down and going up. And uh, I leave you here for the first poll, I guess. So we see that the majority of people think, uh, or 64% think we're having a W shape. Uh, there will be several ups and downs moving forward. Maybe lots of silver linings, maybe lots of out of your comfort zone kind of uh, challenge. Thank you.